Okay, I'm getting ready to service my engine and I want to change the oil. The easiest way to change the oil actually is to pull the dipstick out and I have an oil pump here that hooks up to a battery. I'm just gonna pump the oil out. Otherwise it drains into the bottom of the, below the engine into the pan and it's an absolute mess. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. Okay, so you can see, you can hear that pump run, you can see that this is got oil in it now and I'm just running it down into another so bucket. I have Finish pumping the oil out of this machine and the oil filter is right back up over there, right here if you can see that. That oil filter right So we've taken the oil filter off, you can see the port there. We're gonna go ahead and put a new oil filter All right, on. So I finished draining the oil out. I got a funnel in there. Supposedly this thing takes exactly, well, 1.9 or two quarts of oil and it takes a 10 W 30 weight oil. However, you never fully know how much you pumped out. And so I'm only gonna put in about one quart, I'm gonna check it, and then I'll put some more in after that. So every bearing's gonna have a grease cert. And so there's a grease cert all the way up over in here. I don't know if you can see it, but there's one there. There's gonna be one, you can see right here. There's gonna be one on this shaft here. We'll rotate that, there's one on there. There's gonna be a grease circ on every internal bearing. So there's one there, one there. On this other side then you can see there's a grease circ on that front bearing. You can see them sticking up there. There's gonna be a grease circ there. There's gonna be a grease circ on this shaft. When we rotate it around, you'll be able to see it. There's gonna be one there. See that there's one there, one there, one there, one there. And then on every one of these tires, there's a hole in the tire, or a hole in the rim, excuse me. And that goes through. And the Zerk back there, if you can see it, right up against the um, the machine. And each one of these then is gonna have it. So there'll be four external Zerks on each side. Okay, to grease this back bearing, we're going to Put this through here, and I'm going to reach around behind this tire and place it on the Zerk. It's always a pain in the fanny. And I'm only going to give it about four or five pumps, and that should be sufficient. Okay. And the way to get it off the Zerk is to go ahead and turn this and it pops off and line that back up to the top so I can do the next one. And this one there's more space behind it. And again about five pumps so I'm going to put in there check make sure that every axle here is tight yeah. and then we're going to check the connecting link on every chain you can see that we have a connecting link right here we want to make sure that every one of those is connected in correctly and that they're still tight on every single chain so there's four chains on the side that'd be eight connecting links grease all my chains and I don't do a lot of recommendations but I will recommend this stuff here corrosion X is And then what I'll do is I'll do all the rest of the chains and I'll move the whole machine to make sure I get those chains all the way around. All right, we are going to change the transmission oil on this Argo. And you can see there's a sight hole right there. Generally there's a bubble just part way up on it and right beside it is a drain plug. And so we're gonna go ahead and pull that drain plug out, stick a hose in there and suck that fluid out of it. Draining my transmission, got a battery here hooked up to a pump, pumping oil in there. And there. So this has got a magnet on it, and it collects some um, 
filings if there's anything in the transmission. The fill cap for this transmission is right up here on top of it. Here. There. So I'm going to put the lid down here. And you can access it from up on top of the engine. Right there, you can see that hole right there. And so we're going to go ahead and put in some 80-90 weight oil into that and we'll see how that goes.